So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and do the design on this fake nail. But you guys, of course, are going to do it on your real nails. Um, my nails aren't cleaned off. I still have some nail polish here and there. But you want to make sure that you start off with freshly groomed nails. So you want to make sure that you file your nails and make sure you cut your fingernails and then, you know, make sure that they're nice and groomed and ready to start. But I'm going to do this design on this fake nail right here. The first thing you want to do is use a base coat and this is going to protect the nail from the uh, color of the nail polish. Um, I like to do this because sometimes after I put my nail polishes on, except especially when I'm doing like a darker color like black or you know purples, anything like that, I usually, when I take them off, I, my nails become stained and I really hate that. So to protect that, prevent that from happening, I go ahead and I do a base coat. So we're going to use the white color as our background and all I'm going to do is just um, give my nail two coats of this white color. So I have one skinnier brush and one flatter brush like this and I'm going to go ahead and pick my nail up that I painted with the two coats of white nail polish. It's fully dried and I'm going to go ahead and pick some of that black color up on my brush and I'm going to make a dot right in the middle of my nail. Just like that. Don't overthink it, you guys. It's just as simple as making a dot in the middle of the nail. Now I'm going to continue and to go ahead and draw my design. So it's a windmill design. So what I'm going to do, let me get a better grip on this. I'm going to go ahead and just start making some curves all around the nail. The lines absolutely positively do not have to be perfect, you guys. We're pretty just we're pretty much just mapping out where we want the lines to be right now. I'm going to go back with my um, my next brush that has more of a straight tip so this is going to help me with precision and accuracy and I'm going to go back into that paint and make these lines thicker and also clean them up as well. Hey you guys, so I see that I actually like this smaller brush a lot better for precision. So I jump back and now all I'm doing is cleaning up again. So I could wipe off if I picked up too much black and I'm just going in and cleaning up the areas that aren't straight and perfect. Mm -hmm. 